Welcome to our new video series called the One Pot Wonders, where we're going to be taking French recipes that are a bit complex and squeeze them into a one pot recipe. Now we can simplify a recipe, we can take shortcuts, as long as we know what we're doing and we're not breaking the recipe. We are starting here with the chicken fricassé, old-fashioned style, which is different than what you've seen before. There's no searing of meat, there's no searing of garnish or anything like this. Everything is cooked differently, served with a white sauce, and the taste is something you surely have not experienced before. Let's start. <music> Right, chicken fricassé. What is the deal? Why is there a different version online and here and what I'm telling you is going to be different? Well, if we look at the Larousse Gastronomique, which is the world reference for chef and gastronomy around the world, the definition of a fricassé is a white wagyu where the meat and the garnish is cooked without coloration at all. So here we're just going to use mushrooms, onion, carrots, a bouquet garni, some creams and wine with the chicken, and we're going to slightly color everything, covered with liquid, and let it cook. The whole thing is then finished with a bit of cream, some eggs to thicken the sauce, and that's it. Simple little thing, but will really change that recipe if you've been trying it before with the browning of meat, and that is super important. So now let's look at what you need. Now let's talk mise en place. Always the same, whatever you cook, always get ready for here. This recipe is quite simple. You need what, about five or six mushrooms. You'll find everything in the video description. A few of these pickling onions that I'm gonna cut in half. One bouquet garni, a little bit of butter, an egg, and about a carrot that you can peel and slice. We're gonna use some cream, about 50 to 100 ml, 100 ml of wine, and of course the chicken that is in the fridge. So as you can see, there's not much to that recipe at all. It's very simple and very straightforward. So we're going to start now to prepare the chicken. Now the chicken is very important. This is a locally sourced organic chicken. It was a whole piece. I've cut it into uh, four pieces here. And the benefit is that I've got some extra little piece wings and stuff. And that is great for the flavor that we're going to need for that dish because we're making it a simple way. We're going to start with a good seasoning on either side. Salt and pepper to start with. So I'm showing you that side, that side, and then you turn around and you do the same. And now for the important stuff from the recipe. Originally, this is made with a stock mixed with a roux to make some kind of a velouté. So you need a sauce that is rather thick. Because we're not gonna make a velouté because we're making the easy way, we still need flour to thicken the sauce. So what you're gonna do to start with is to sprinkle a good amount of flour on each piece of chicken and coat it generously in chicken after it's been seasoned. That is crucial. So that's it. Look at this. Once you're done, you got plenty of flour. We're good to go. It is now time to start to go on the stove using one pot. I'm gonna use a cast iron pot, but if you want to use a stainless steel, it's fine as well. Finally, we are on the stove. My faithful cast iron pot. This is the Le Creuset that I always use for years. And we're gonna start, of course, by melting a piece of butter. Now, this recipe does not require any heavy coloration at all on any of the ingredients. That means that it's a pretty chill out recipe. You don't need to have a raging fire or anything. A medium heat is fine. You can just use this. So I'm gonna wait for this to melt and then we're gonna put the chicken in. Listen to this. Butter is chanting. When it's chanting like this, it's not a raging chant. That's not a concert hall. Skin first, skin side down. And we're gonna just, it is called redire in French cooking. It means to firm up the flesh and a very slight coloration on either side. There's not enough space here, so I'm gonna go in batches. Let's have a look at what we want. This is the maximum you should ever go to, that color. That's it, nothing more than that. So you're gonna check everything. And then when you have a little coloring like this, that's it, it's all what you need. I'm doing the second batch and because I've got plenty of space, I've used these bits and bob, the wings and the neck here just to color them a little bit. And by the way, if butter bothers you, if you prefer oil, you can use a little bit of grapeseed or sunflower oil to do that thing, it's no problem. My chicken is now lightly colored and you see this brand mark is really what we don't want. So immediately I'm gonna add some more butter in here and we're gonna throw in the onions 
and the mushroom. Now, same thing apply here. We're not, I'm putting my heat on very low, we're not coloring anything. We really just almost like just leave these to sweat and to release some of the flavor before we add the liquid. That's it. Okay, same thing here. This is ready, as you can see. It's not seared at all. I'm scooping out all of the mushrooms and onions and we're gonna put the chicken back in. Now the chicken is back in and I know that you're gonna say, oh my God, that doesn't look appetizing. I don't have the typical brown color, but look, there's nothing you can do about it. This dish is not supposed to be seared and it's not all about having this nice Instagram-ish kind of color that you can photograph. It is the nature of the dish and look what we're gonna do here. We're gonna add another good tablespoon of flour and mix that with the chicken. So you turn things around with the flowers, we toast it a little bit in the dish. Immediately after the flour is in, we're gonna stop the cooking by adding the wine. And then very slowly, while this is bubbling away, we're gonna start to add all of the other ingredients. That means the leftover chicken, the little garnish that is here of onion, and mushroom and we're gonna mix everything well. Oh well. Yes. Now because this is a one pot and we're simplifying everything, we've put the flour in here instead of making a roux and we're not using a white chicken stock. So what you have to use is water. So all what we're gonna do is top up with water so we barely, barely cover the chicken. That's about it. And I'm gonna raise the heat slightly and bring this to a simmer. My liquid is almost coming to a simmer. It is now time to add the additional elements. We're gonna have the bouquet garni. I'm gonna add an extra bay leaf. And of course, what do we forget is the carrots on here that we haven't added. Okay, so I'm gonna put them here. And I'm gonna explain to you what happened here. What have we done exactly that is so special? And how did we simplify that uh, fricasse recipe. Well, you see what we've done here is that we've decomposed or deconstructed the technique. Usually you have to make a roux and use a white stock to make a velouté in order to make that sauce. What we've done here is that we've used plenty of butter and we added flour on the chicken in the dish to mimic the roux. The white chicken stock is now created as we cook. So because we've used water and wine, plus the flavor of mushroom, carrot, the bukegani, and so on and so forth, that is gonna make our stock or that white stock that we need. So by doing this technique, we've got all of the elements that are usually present in the original recipe. The only drawbacks is that you're gonna have some coloring, the mushrooms are not totally white, that sort of things, but it's not a big deal. So we're gonna plunge everything under the water, we're gonna cover with a lid, and we're gonna leave this to simmer for a good 35 minutes or more. And here we are. So some little things I forget to mention is that after about 15, 20 minutes, you need to take the chicken breast out and reserve them in a little bit of the sauce here so that they don't become overcooked. Uh, cooking time for the legs, I thought 30 minutes was you know, could go a bit longer to release some more flavor. So I've left this about 40 minutes because I think, you know what? Chicken legs, there's no way to really overcook a chicken leg. So we are now done. That's how it looks like. And what we're gonna do now is to simply make the sauce. First thing we're gonna do is to scoop out the legs, okay? And then we're gonna discard, of course, the neck. You know, that we have the, chick uh, the chicken neck and the pieces of wing like this. That's gonna be discarded in a bowl, okay? Now, of course, you're gonna discard the bouquet garni as well, the bay leaf, and when you're done, you got your chicken here. I'm gonna take a, a little bit of the sauce to keep it moist, a bit everywhere like this, not too much because you need the sauce. And then you're gonna take parchment paper or foil, and you're gonna keep this on the side while we finish the sauce. For the, show, the sauce, sorry, it's gonna be simple. We're gonna put this to a medium to high heat, and just bring this to a light boil to concentrate the taste. All right, so my sauce here is boiling and all what we need to do now is to take our cream and add a little bit. You don't need to add, it's usually two or three tablespoons. Don't add too much because you're gonna have a reduction time that is gonna take forever. But the color that you're gonna have is gonna depend 
on that. And once the cream is in, it is time to really finalize the sauce and that is the reduction. Let it boil like this, don't be shy and spend a good five minutes to really get the sauce to that consistency that you want. The usual one is what we say, you know, to have that spoon coating consistency. That means when you plunge a spoon in the sauce, you see it's a bit liquid. It starts to coat the spoon a little bit, but that's not thick enough. So let it reduce. It's going to improve the flavor, improve the consistency. It's been 10 minutes and the sauce here has totally changed. Look at this. Thickness, look at coats, totally the spoon like this. It is done, but we still need to do the final thickening. So for that, you take an egg yolk in a bowl, you take some of the warm sauce, and you're gonna whisk it. Take a small whisk like this. I'm gonna break this. And then we're gonna put this in the pot. Before you do so, very important, you turn your heat off. You wait for the boil to totally drop. So you don't want anything boiling in here, otherwise your egg yolk is going to cook. And when it's a little bit calm down in temperature, we're going to slowly incorporate that mixture. This is for a final binding of the sauce, okay? A final thickening. A bit like a creme anglaise, like a custard. And that's done. I'm going to transfer this into a serving dish to show you the sauce and add the final touches. All right, testing bench set of cutlery on here and I'm always a lover or a sucker for this chicken breast and I'm gonna just take some of that sauce and all what you need to do for that one pot recipe is to cover that in sauce. Actually I think the carrot has kind of uh, disappeared a little bit but this is how it looks like okay it's a simple thing this is the one pot kind of fricassee and surely the different one that you usually see in because usually it's not like this at all. See, this is more countryside, kind of all France, <laughs> rusty kind of thing. So, ooh, that's been rested. You see, even though it cooks quickly, eh, the breast, I want to try the mushrooms. I want to try a bit of the carrots here, the sauce. Let's have a look. It's a perfect match. Oh, it's a bit tough, the chicken. Look at that. You see? Even 15 minutes was a little bit tough. It's not the end of the world, but it's a bit dryish. It's a bit dryish, but that sauce. I can't forgive the chicken because the sauce. It's all in the sauce, and I'm saying this is the most important. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Oh, it's good. And you know, the perfect thing would be you take some rice with this like a pilaf rice, ooh, absolutely beautiful. And that's it, we've done it. We've managed to simplify that chicken fricassee, which is quite a convoluted recipe, usually in French cooking. As you can see, this is not the version you've seen online where the chicken is seared with a brown sauce and it will taste absolutely different. This is super subtle chicken flavors and the flavors of the carrot, the mushrooms, and my little hint, if you use thyme in here in your book again, use lemon thyme. It adds a really lemony accent that is excellent. Pairing absolutely it has to be rice and a good white wine and you're gonna have a bowl. So try the recipe, let me know what you think in the comment section and get ready for next week where we'll revisit the good old Boeuf Bourguignon but this time we're gonna make it super fast, super easy and in just one pot. I'll see you all then, take care all, bye bye.